Good morning. It is actually quite a beautiful Tuesday morning. There is blue sky. The only little thing is there's a cheeky bit of wind chill, but you know what? We can deal with that. Um, it's not as bad as yesterday's. Me and Cam Cam are back on the estate wall. Last day, day four. Got to get this done. No ifs or buts or whatever. No problems, only solutions today. So we have only got a couple of courses either side to get up. So we've got to the finish wall height. And then I believe we're just going to be banging on a mortared cap. Uh, not like a proper dome. Um, just literally just to seal it. Um, we couldn't find any proper tops or anything. And we've got no suitable stone to sort of lay across as like a coping stone. Um, so we just have to make do and top it. I have had a look actually, and I am going to look down the wall later on anyway to see um, how the wall, because there's been a few repairs recently, well, in the last few years, apparently. Um, so we're going to literally go see how they've done it. Um, but like I say and have said, hopefully this wall is going to be totally rebuilt. So it is only a temporary measure. It's a temporary fix just to fill in the hole. Well, anyway, let's crack on with today. I'm feeling fresh, especially... <laughs> compared to yesterday uh, apart from a voice but voice is still slightly gone but i am totally alcohol free and uh hydrated and raring to get this baby done and uh yeah crack on to a few little other cheeky little jobs and lovely jubbly let's just crack on let's go <laughs> A beautiful afternoon just having a lovely little stroll because uh somewhere down here is um a repair of the wall and they've uh put quite a flat mortared top on it um so i'm just gonna have a quick ganders and have a look at it just to sort of see what it looks like and then obviously i can copy it oh ivy why 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 do you let the ivy grow and the brambles in your wall? It's a shame really, isn't it? Because it'd be such, a, just all it needs is clearing. Here we go, is this the repair? I think it is. There you go. So that is what I need to copy. Um, just a flat mortar top, um, which is all right. It's just a shame, isn't it really? If it was just cleared, the wall would be so beautiful. And all that nasty ivy off. It lowers down here, the wall. Drops right down. And then it goes up again. With some more cheeky ivy on it. Ah, oh, Ivy! And then it goes up. That was quite tall here, actually. It's quite a big, substantial wall. But just clear it. Why is all that brambles there? Such a shame. Oh, You can see it's been pointed as well there, like... Don't know why, it's a bit strange, isn't it? To point just one little, one band that high up, like, it is, it is high, what am I? I'm sort of touching over six foot, that's like the top of my head there, so six foot up the wall, is that? But no, oh, that's well in there. Look at that, that will be right established in there. Not good, not good that. Oh no. Better off just leaving that be, really. Letting it do its thing. You can see in there. Oh, oh, oh. I bet there's some uh, little treasures in this wall because this is a very old wall. I'd love to know, like, you know. Oh, oh, oh. I'd love to know who built it. I'd love to know everything. I'd love to see it getting originally built, like. Ooh. It's a Jurassic snail. Millions of years old, that. <laughs> oh, hello, you've got some shoots coming out here. I reckon that ivy will be right in it. 
You can see some bulging and stuff. Obviously gaps in that. But no, it's just, you know, standing well for a big old wall. Where's he going to? Where are you going to? I think you're just, you're shooting off on the ground there. But no, you can see a couple of little waves in the wall, as you can see. Well, little waves, they're quite bad actually, but. Um, yeah. It's just one of them, you get these big old walls. And that looks like a, is that, is that not lime, is it? Is, it might be lime that, you know. Anyway, we are pretty much there on our bit of wall. So now I'm just gonna jump the other side because uh, the ground is about there. Um, about a third of this wall's retaining. Um, so jump the other side and crack on with the mortar top, just like that little bit there. If we do have any spare, this whole little stretch there isn't actually capped at all. It's just an open, vulnerable wall. So if we do have any mortar left over, we will whack in a load in there as well and just cut the brambles back. It's all we can really do, really. But uh, yeah, so that's what we're going to crack on this afternoon. Uh, get that done. And then we've got a few little repairs to do um, on the other side of the estate. Uh, just like, like I said earlier, just sort of like filling in some holes and stuff and uh, just tightening some loose stones, really. But uh, yes, it has gone up well, actually. I'm quite, you know, quite happy how it's turned out. We are down to the scraps of stone now. So the walls actually turned out quite nice, a lot better than I thought it would because uh, all we're really left is with now is just, bits of hearting because we've used mortar and uh half of this wall was the original true dry stone obviously it's just the hearting that's left because we've used all the building stone up it's just uh all the scraps left so that's a that's a good sign when you've got hardly any stone left it's good because if, if you you know you could have spent a bit more time dressing up the stone getting it all nice and tight but then also you know what i mean we would have run out of stone so uh you got to do what you got to do sometimes anyway let's crack on this afternoon and let's get this baby done love it done righty we're just gonna grab a rake get everything all cleaned up get everything packed away and uh give the old top a bit more of a rubbing lovely jubbly we are done you know what really enjoyed this one it's just been i, lo I love these little ones like that it's just you know what i mean you get in there get your teeth stuck in crack on get the job done beautiful but uh three and a half days obviously we did do well this afternoon we sort of done a few extras and that um first day he was just clearing it all away loads of brambles and that got all cleared got a good base in actually the first day second and third day was proper boss mode and then today has just been sort of just finishing off you know what i mean put a nice little you know mortar top on it and it's like i say it's just a temporary fix um the whole wall at some point is going to get rebuilt hopefully in the near future because that would be absolutely stunning you know what i mean all proper dry stone as well um it's just a factor of obviously um getting it all knocked down but there's a road there so it's gonna have to be road closures oh it's just gonna it's a, it's a big thing just to sort of just do and uh you can see from some of the clips i've sort of shown you that obviously that the wall has been repaired in multiple places um all the way down the wall and like even further down where it goes higher it is it is proper you could just i just look it's been repaired like but at the end of the day that wall has just been repaired so much it's sort of like you can't keep repairing the repairs because all you're doing is obviously with the sections is just sort of you know it's just a temporary measure you know what i mean um so at the end of the day that whole thing just needs a bit of love and care taken down totally cleared out um maybe a bit more stone unless you're going to totally reduce the wall height um you know what i mean you get away the stones there is some big stuff in there in that section we built there was some but not like I wouldn't want to personally build that wall anyway, even though I was told what to do on this one. Um, but at the end of the day, I personally wouldn't want to build that wall dry stone. What I'm saying is like, you know what I mean? Because when you're repairing such a small area, 
you can only sort of guarantee what you're doing, but because you're knitting into either sides, and if you look on the video and that, the walls either side, they're all dropping. They're, you know what I mean? At the end of the day, it is just a temporary repair. And when it does actually finally get rebuilt, it is going to be such a beautiful wall. You know what I mean? Like I say, proper dry stone. The only thing I'd say is obviously looking at it, um, where there's been so many collapses and repairs, and obviously, you know, cement's been used more, um, lime's been used, different, some bits have just been repointed. Um, and you can just go along there with your finger and just pick it out because it's just been just filled in. Some of it looks like it's just been rendered. Do you know what I mean? The, the beautiful thing just needs some love and care and the big thing money spent on it and uh just totally rip it down rebuild it you you, you know you can have something you know obviously properly done it's going to stand for hundreds and hundreds of years so but you know what at the end of the day we've gone in we've done our job and hey ho on to the next one beautiful little one i've got tomorrow it's a little uh two-day proper dry stone proper dry stone repair um so i'm looking forward to that one actually and um, that'll be good. That will be good. It's just a little section has just collapsed. The only problem is there is a tree there and the tree is going nowhere. So uh, like it's another one of them. You assess it, you tell the risks, but at the end of the day, you know, you're just there to do a job. As long as you're honest, uh, that's all you can be in it. But like I say, it's just a couple of days. It would proper dry stone, no mortar, no lime, no cement, nothing. Just literally, my hands, hammer, and stone. And uh, let's see what we can do with that anyway. Anyway, thank you for watching. Like I say, not the uh, prettiest of walls, but you know what? It's strong. Lovely jubbly. Thank you for watching. Take care. Look after yourselves. And I will see you tomorrow or next time. Who knows? <laughs>